Hello, everyone. This talk will be about our work on learning spatial temporal dependencies via a unified graph neural network. So the task we are targeting is modeling spatial temporal data by forecasting. That is, given a graph in a time series of historical node feature values for every node, predict each node's future feature values. We assume that the graph is fixed and the time series is evenly spaced. Example applications include brain waves, skeletal motion, traffic, etc. Existing works include those based on recurrent neural networks, temporal convolutional networks, and transformer-like attention-based models. To perform spatial temporal forecasting on a single node, however, all of them first encode the historical information up to the current time step per neighbor into a state vector, and then aggregates the encoded information of the neighbors. In real world, however, the state of a single node may depend on the state in the past instead of the current time step because the information traversal along the edges may have a delay. So the existing works are not sufficient. Instead, our model named TraverseNet allows each node to explicitly receive information from not only the current state of the node and its neighbors, but also from the past states. It does so with three kinds of attentions, starting from top to the bottom. One that selects the time step of each neighbor to compute the message sent from the neighbor one that selects the time steps of the node itself to look up, and another that selects the neighbors to receive message swap. This allows us to model spatial temporal dependency as an inseparable entity and learn the delays between neighbors intelligently. We can see that the attentions are very similar to transformers. Therefore, we can also stack those layers to form a deep model along with a pre-processing layer that projects the features into latent space and the post-processing layer to give final predictions. We compared our model with multiple baselines, and we can see that our model's performance ranked either the first or the second most of the time. Thank you for listening.